In one of the previous videos, we talked about the variations you can do with scales. So there are fingering variations you can do, there are bowing variations you can do, and there's also rhythmic variations you can do, and that's what I wanted to talk about today. Um, we're going to be looking at this one sheet, which has two columns of rhythms. It's very simple, uh, but it's a mix and match <laughs> kind of thing. So you pick either a single rhythmic pattern from column one, and you just do that over and over, or you mix and match it with the same options in column two, so you can get a bunch of variations. Now, I should say <laughs> there's some reasons why we do this. First of all, it just works on your rhythm. You get to do different permutations of the rhythm. That's helpful. But the more important thing is that when we are working uh, with left, left hand moves, and say you've been working at maybe quarters or eighth notes in the left hand, and suddenly you're trying to jump up to sixteenths, that's a pretty big change, and your hand has to shift quickly and then get in the hand position quickly, and everything sort of happens at once. The reason I like doing some of these rhythm variations is it's almost like you're running a quick sprint and then you just have a second to get grounded again and then it's another fast move. Um, but depending which rhythm you do, those little sprints of two or three sixteenth notes will be in different places. So you get used to shifting maybe quickly here and then next time you go through you shift quickly there. Um, and in addition to that, it's almost like we're juggling. You, once you know the fingerings, you have your default fingerings, that's like getting one ball going. Then maybe making sure your tone with your bow is good, maybe that's two balls you're juggling. And then the rhythm variations is like getting a third ball in the juggling. Basically, it's just testing you and making sure that those other two or whatever else you're doing, what the other elements you're doing are stable. And you'll find out pretty fast if you do some of these rhythmic variations that are a little challenging for you, you might notice that some of your fingerings aren't quite as stable as you thought. And so that's just helpful information. So let's try some of these out. We're going to play them with a C major scale. Um, first we'll go through the variations in column one and then we'll mix and match. To start out just for the column one, we're going to do these as one octave scales, up and down, not repeating the top note. But then once we combine the two columns, we'll do two octave scales. So here we are with column one. Number one, so straight eighth notes, three and four, and. Okay, now let's look at number two in column one, quarter, eighth and two sixteenths. You'll notice it doesn't always end um, in quite the same way, but that's okay. Uh, number three. Number four. Now, I will say that's a notoriously tricky rhythm because unless you're subdividing sixteenths in your head, like that, they tend to become triplets, like or something leaning towards that. So make sure you are subdividing one e and a two e and a three e and a. Or some people just like to go like a subtle pulse that goes underneath everything. It's not taking over everything, but it's just a subtle pulse that you're always aware of. Here's number five. Here's number six. And then straight sixteenths for number seven. So now let's go to a two octave scale and combine different things from column one with column two. Let's start out with number one and letter B. So one and B. So bum, 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 bum. Here we go. Let's try number two with letter C. So bum 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 bum. Here we go. Three and four and. 
Like that. Now, let's try three, and from three on, we're going to go systematically. So this is going to be a bit more of a workout. So starting with three, we're going to go through A, B, C, D, E, F, G, then four, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, etc. So here we go. Three and A. start with B flat now. We'll do B flat two octave scale. Five and A. Here we go. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Five and 
three, four. <laughs> Stay on B flat. One, two, three, four. concentrating. It's sometimes easy for your brain to get away from you during the com uh, all the combinations. But see if you can stick with it. Seven and the whole combination. One, two, three, four. <laughs> on this handout. I'll put a link in the YouTube page if you don't already have uh, the handout. Um, and you can check out some other rhythmic variations you can do with the scales.